Hard solipsism is the idea that you can't know whether or not your experience is real. So you don't know whether or not... No one can know if their experience is real or not. So you could, like, not even be real, but you're going to... That, that's be not real. possible. And this, again, shows me that you are not engaging with this no, no, philosophy no. seriously. Okay, okay. You keep going. So, if, if, here's, the, here's the fucking basics is that this idea that you've been trained to bastardize and misrepresent is... What? What? You're a lady? Yeah. No, bastardization means that you've misshapen it, you've misused it. That, oh, sorry, I didn't realize that you were so fucking sensitive to the fucking F word. God damn, I will be fucking careful from now on. Anyway, so... <laughs> the, um... What was I going to say? Uh, so, this philosophy that you haven't been presented for, you've just been taught to use it as a bad tool of apologetics. This, at least in Western philosophy, originates with Rene Descartes. Rene Descartes first, you know, documented the idea of hard solipsism, that we wouldn't have a way of knowing whether or not the reality that we're experiencing is the absolute final reality. And he was arguing this from a Christian perspective. So it's not like knowledge of Christianity suddenly let him know that everything was real. He still acknowledged that all of his experience could be fabricated. Because where did you get your knowledge of God from? You got your knowledge of God from the Bible. Well, if your experience is entirely fabricated, then that Bible would also be entirely fabricated. So just being Christian isn't a solution to the problem of hard solipsism. But I do at least know that I exist. And that's where I cut you off earlier when you said, oh, you couldn't know that you exist. No, I absolutely know that I exist. Oh, I absolutely know that I exist. But I don't know if the reality that I'm experiencing is necessarily the final, ultimate reality. But it is the reality I have to engage with. Oh, you don't, you don't know. That's what I was just saying. And no one can know. Because we only get knowledge through experience. And is the possibility of experience being inaccurate. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes, and so that's why... Any sort of ultimate reality is unknowable. Oh, is that a problem? Wake <laughs> up! Wake up. You're the indoctrinated one. I demonstrated my point that the appeal to hard solipsism isn't a solution to anything. You it's did, a you finished. Yeah, you finished yeah. that point. Yeah. But at least I am engaging with the facts of our shared reality, whether or not it is the ultimate final reality, whether or not we're being manipulated by Descartes' dream or something. I'm just engaging with the actual facts of reality. I mean, denying it and you're saying, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I, read something I mean, because firstly, I don't have any sin. Um, and secondly, I'm not denying nothing. Um, Christians just don't have good arguments. And I love that, like, without barely trying, you're immediately like, yeah, you probably heard all the arguments. And we already know that they're not good arguments. So. Hey, shit, I forgot my, uh, I forgot my flag. And besides, you know, even if you had a really good argument, you shouldn't tell me because God doesn't permit a brother to teach. So, or I could do it at all. What? I, yeah, but I mean, if you had some new argument to show me, you'd be teaching me, and you're not permitted to do that in Christianity. So, I mean, I think you should be. I, I want to be clear. If you've got a good argument, I'd love to hear it. But if you've got a new argument, it's not. Good. How did he 
Nathan and are you? How old do you think uh, you are? Oh, see, this is what I mean about not engaging the facts of reality. Yeah, well, should I say? I actually, I would love you to talk. Yeah, so you're not engaging the facts of reality. You're holding to your storybook. Yeah, so you're just you're just confirming what I said that you're not engaging the facts. Seventeen says Right, so, in the garden and said your word is true. Uh, like I said, you're not, not engaging not with like facts. It's, not like it's true. Well, my, my book like two is, plus two is four. Or my, that my, my, is my, book, uh, my book says that uh, you're all like brainwashed. So, I mean, you're by which you're, you're restating it in so many ways. But, I am, I'm, but, you, you've like the, but you're a, just agreeing with me. You're, you're just agreeing with me. No, you've, no, you're agreeing with me that you're not engaging with facts. You're just holding to your book. You don't have evidence of the age of the earth. You just have a Bronze Age plane. No, I'm just holding to the book. I was gonna right, so you're not engaging with facts. Yeah. Yes, well, okay, so you agree that you're I'm not engaging, engaging with facts. No, I'm engaging with the truth, which is the word of God. <laughs> because all scriptures breathed out by God. Well, look, hey, this is a great, great case. Okay.